Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. In today's video, we will discuss what is the multi-gear train and how to calculate the below parameters. The first topic is how to calculate the gear ratio for multi-gear trains. The second topic is how to calculate the speed of the idler gear and driven gear. The third topic is how to calculate the torque of the output shaft or driven gear for multi-gear trains. We will cover the above calculations in upcoming slides. Next, we will discuss what is the multi-gear train. Multi-gear trains consist of more than two gears to transfer motion from one shaft to another. The resultant gear ratio can be calculated by multiplying individual gear ratios. Please refer to the below snaps for better understanding and below multi-gear trains consist of three gears to transfer motion from one shaft to another. Please refer to the snaps. The gears consist of the driver gear, idler gear, and driven gear. Next, we learn, how to calculate the gear ratio for multi-gear train. The formula of the gear ratio for multi-gear train. Gear ratio is equals to T2 divided by T1 and obtained value multiplied by the T3, divided by T2. So the gear ratio is equals to T3 divided by T1. Where, T1 the number of teeth on driver gear. T2 the number of teeth on idler gear. T3 the number of teeth on the driven gear. Next, we understand how to calculate the speed of the idler gear, driven gear. The formula of the gear ratio for multi-gear train. Gear ratio is equals to N1 divided by N2 and obtained value multiplied by N2 divided by N3. So, the gear ratio is equals to N1 is divided by N3. N1 the speed of the driver gear. N2 the speed of the idler gear. N3 the speed of the driven gear. Next, we understand how to calculate the torque of the idler and driven gear shaft. The formula of the gear ratio for multi-gear train. Gear ratio is equals to OT2 divided by OT1 and obtained value multiplied by OT3 divided by OT2. So, the gear ratio is equals to OT3 divided by OT1. So, the gear ratio is equals to output torque is divided by input torque. OT1 torque generated by driver gear. OT2 torque generated by idler gear. OT3 torque generated by driven gear. Next, we learn how to calculate the gear ratio for the multi-gear train. Let's see an example, calculate the gear ratio, speed, and torque of the output shaft for a multi-gear train if the number of teeth on the driver, idler, and driven gear are 60, 30 and 15. Driver gear is rotating with 1500 revolutions per minute and 100 newton meters. Given data. 
The first parameter, the number of teeth on the driver gear, T1, equals 60. The second parameter, number of teeth on idler gear, T2, equals 30. The third parameter, the number of teeth on the driven gear, T3, equals 15. The fourth parameter, speed of driver gear, N1, equals 1500 revolutions per minute. The fifth parameter, the torque acting on the driver gear equals 100 newton meters. Next, we learn gear ratio calculation for multi-gear trains. Gear ratio is equals to T2 divided by T1 and obtained value multiplied by T3 divided by T2. So the gear ratio is equals to T3 divided by T1. First, we will calculate the gear ratio between the driver gear, gear 1, and idler gear, gear 2. The gear ratio is equals to T2 divided by T1. The gear ratio is equals to, the number of teeth on the idler gear is divided by the number of teeth on the driver gear. So, the gear ratio is equals to T2 divided by T1. We get the gear ratio, apply the given data. The gear ratio is equals 30 divided by 60. The gear ratio is equals to 0.5. Therefore, the gear ratio between the driver gear, gear 1, and idler gear, gear 2, is 0.5. Next, we will calculate the gear ratio between idler gear, gear 2, and driven gear, gear 3. The gear ratio is equals to T3 divided by T2. The gear ratio is equals to, number of teeth on driver gear, is divided by, number of teeth on idler gear. Gear ratio is equals to T3 divided by T2. We get the gear ratio, apply the given data. Gear ratio is equals to 15 divided by 30. The gear ratio is equals to 0.5. The gear ratio between the idler gear, gear 2, and the driven gear, gear 3, is 0.5. Next, we will calculate the gear ratio between driver gear, gear 1, and driven gear, gear 3. Multiplying gear ratios 1 and 2 and 2 and 3, we get the gear ratio of the driver gear and driven gear. Gear ratio is equals to T3 divided by T1. The gear ratio is equals to T2 divided by T1 and the obtained value multiplied by T3 divided by T2. Multiplying gear ratios 1 and 2 and 2 and 3, we get the gear ratio of the driver gear and driven gear. The gear ratio is equals to T3 divided by T1. Is equals to 0.5 into 0.5. The gear ratio between the driver gear, gear 1, and driven gear, gear 3, is equals to 0.25. Next, we will learn and calculate the speed of the idler and driven gear. Let's see an example. To calculate the gear ratio, speed, and torque of the output shaft for a multi-gear train if the number of teeth on the driver, idler, and driven gear are 60, 30, and 15. Driver gear is rotating with 1500 rpm and 100 newton meters torque. Given data. The first parameter, the number of teeth on the driver gear, T1, equals 60. The second parameter, the number of teeth on the idler gear, T2, equals 30. The third parameter, the number of teeth on the driven gear, T3, equals 15. The fourth parameter, the speed of the driver gear, N1, equals 1500 revolutions per minute. The fifth parameter, the torque acting on the driver gear equals 100 newton meters. The sixth parameter, the gear ratio is obtained from the previous slide calculation 0.25. So, the gear ratio is equals to N1 divided by N2, and the obtained value is multiplied by N2 divided by N3. The gear ratio is equals to N1 divided by N3. Next. We will calculate the speed of the idler gear calculation for multi-gear train. The gear ratio is equals to N1 divided by N2. We get the N2, apply the given data. 
0.5 is equals to 1500 is divided by N2. N2 is equals to 1500 divided by 0.5. So, N2 is equals 3000 revolutions per minute. Therefore, the speed of the idler gear for multi-gear train is 3000 revolutions per minute. Next, we will calculate the speed of the driven gear calculation for multi-gear train. The gear ratio is equals to N2 divided by N3. The gear ratio is equals to speed of the idler gear is divided by speed of the driven gear. The gear ratio is equals to N2 divided by N3. We get the N3, we apply the given data. 0.5 is equals to 3000 is divided by N3. So, N3 is equals to 3000 divided by 0.5. Therefore, N3 is equals 6000 revolutions per minute. Therefore, the speed of the driven gear is 6000 revolutions per minute. Next, we will discuss the torque of the output shaft. Let's see an example, calculate the gear ratio, speed, and torque of the output shaft for a multi-gear train if the number of teeth on the driver, idler, and driven gear are 60, 30, and 15. Driver gear is rotating with 1500 revolutions per minute and 100 newton meters torque. Given data. The first parameter, the number of teeth on the driver gear, T1, equals 50. The second parameter, the number of teeth on the driven gear, T2, equals 25. The third parameter, the speed of the driver gear, N1, equals 1500 revolutions per minute. The fourth parameter, the torque acting on the driver gear equals 100 newton meters. The fifth parameter, gear ratio is obtained from the previous slide calculation 0.25. The sixth parameter, the speed of the idler gear is obtained from the previous slide calculation 3000 revolutions per minute. The seventh parameter, the speed of the driven gear is obtained from the previous slide calculation 6000 revolutions per minute. Next, we will calculate the output shaft, gear torque calculation. The gear ratio is equals to OT2 divided by OT1 and obtained value multiplied by OT3 divided by OT2. The gear ratio is equals to OT3 divided by OT1. The gear ratio is equals to output torque divided by input torque. Next, we will calculate the output shaft driven gear torque calculation. The gear ratio is equals to OT3 divided by OT1. The gear ratio is equals to output torque divided by input torque. Gear ratio is equals to torque generated by driven gear is divided by the torque generated by the driver gear. Apply the given parameters, we will get the output torque, OT3. 0.25 is equals to OT3 is divided by 100. OT3 is equals to 100 into 0.25. OT3 is equals to 25 Newton meters. Therefore, the torque generated by the driven gear is 25 Newton meters. We hope this video has helped you understand the gear ratio and how to calculate the gear ratio, speed of the idler gear and driven gear, torque of the output shaft or driven gear. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.